Good people, this is the day. <laughs> it is that day. <laughs> it is my day. It is Monday. It is once upon a time Monday. Hope you are well. And because I know you are well, our today's once upon a time Monday is about the poor father and his daughter. A poor father and his daughter. Once upon a time, there lived a man who had one daughter. The mother had died some years back, and therefore this man was raising this girl alone. This man would be seen in the village wearing some old dirty clothes. But he was so respected because of his humility and love for his child. One day, when the school closed and it was daughter's 16th birthday, this man wearing his old and tattered clothes arrived at a large hotel with his daughter. Remember, it was her 16th birthday and it was a day after the schools were closed and the exams were done. Now seeing both of them sitting, the waiter placed two glasses of water in front of them and asked, Master, what should I bring for you? The man said, Madam, I promised my daughter that if she came first, or if she comes first, in her class, in the final exam that was done at the district level, I will bring her to a, the largest hotel in the city to give her a treat as a reward. You know what? My daughter got a first class. Now it is my turn to fulfill my promise. So please bring her a piece of a cake and a glass of juice. And then the waiter asked, What do I bring for you, sir? The man replied, Nothing. I have only enough money to pay for only my daughter's piece of cake and a glass of, of juice. Hearing this, the whole story, the waiter went to the owner and told the story and said, Sir, I want them to have complete breakfast meal. At the present, I have no money. But please, if you could accept, you deduct the bill from my salary. Please. The owner took some time and then said, Okay, today we will give a party to them for success of his daughter and for the promise he made for the daughter. And we shall do this on behalf of the hotel. The hoteliers de decorated a table and celebrated the success of the poor girl for her exam and for her 16th birthday. And the father also attended, uh, um, uh, celebrated, and all the attendees. The owner packed them a large bag with cakes and a box of sweets as a gift to be distributed in the girl's neighborhood. After receiving so much respect, 
the poor man went to his house with tears of joy in his eyes. Time passed. And the same girl passed all the examinations at the final level of the university and she later came back to the same city as the city council bazaar. She was now a big, big person in the city council of that republic. After returning there, she sent a message to the hotel owner, now from the office of the city bazaar. And the, city, uh, the, the message said that the city bazaar will be coming for breakfast tomorrow. Please book a table for her. The hotel owner decorated a table very well. And upon hearing the news about the arrival of the city's bazaar at the hotel, the entire hotel was flooded with customers. It was such a big day because the city bazaar was a very, very, very big office. The same girl as the city's Kanso Bazaar arrived at the hotel with her parents. Everyone at the hotel stood in her honor. There was the mother. Remember, I told you the mother was has died. But after the, the girl went to the to the university, the father married another woman. And therefore, this time she is escorted by the father and her stepmother. And also an uncle was with them. Everyone at the hotel stood in her honor. The owner presented her with a banquet and requested her to order. Just then, the girl stood up and bowed in front of the hotel owner and waiter and said, I know you, pointing to the hotel owner. And I know you too, pointing at the waiter. Remember the waiter who had offered to pay from her Saturday? Mm -hmm. And she said, Maybe... Both of you do not recognize me. Do you remember a girl that you have helped some years back on her birthday and for a treat for passing an exam? I am that same girl whose father did not have money to afford for the breakfast for two. There was no money and still both of you presenting a true example of humanity, held a great party of joy in my honor for the exams and my birthday, and you even packed some goodies for me to be distributed to my neighborhood too. I have never forgotten. Today, I am the city bazaar courtesy of what you did and many others, including my dad here. And therefore, I have never, I have never forgotten the words of encouragement that you gave and told me to work harder to achieve my dream. I feel so honored. I will always remember both of you for your honor and generosity. The hotel owner at all this time was quiet. Then she turned around and announced, Today's party is from my side and I will pay the bill for all the customers present and the entire hotel staff. And the party started. And they parted. And they parted. And it was a great day. And the party ended 
and everybody was happy. <laughs> they went home. <sighs> and we are, there's something that we can take home. Also, as we go home, after the heavy breakfast, <laughs> you see, one should not make fun of poverty of any person. It is good to respect one's talent and encourage them even when you cannot do anything to them. But remember, it is possible that because of you, someone will reach their destination. It is possible. Maybe you don't think that you can do anything in life, but maybe that cup of tea you bought for someone Maybe that pair of shoes that you bought for someone. Maybe the person you have been paying school fees for. And maybe you have never met these children. You are their destiny changer. There are so many people who may never have their dreams realized. But because you came through. My dear friend. You don't have to be so wealthy to help the entire world. Maybe God has sent you into this world to touch only one soul and to make them your world. If God has given you that chance, please do it with grace. Please do. You never know. The person who asked you for some help, the person whom the Spirit spoke to you about, maybe you are the angel sent to that person. If God has enabled you, please help someone. We have so many children in this world and they just need someone to come through for them, maybe through school fees. There are others who just need a word of encouragement. Please be there. Nobody was born and made a choice of poverty. How many of our children who cannot even go to school, that they have qualified? They have qualified, but they can't go to school. Maybe you can do something. And as I have told you, you don't have to help the whole world. Maybe the only person you are helping could be the world that God has sent you. Nobody has ever gotten poorer by giving. None. There is no cuddle that went out by lighting other cuddles. Keep Keep the fire burning. Keep the light shining. Maybe you are that only one cuddle that can light a million others. Do it with gusto. Do it with pride. Do it with humility. Do it with grace. Do it for humanity. Do it for God. Thank you. God bless you. Have a bright Monday. Asante sana.